Hello, in this video we're going to talk about using Safari, which is a Macintosh uh, browser or an Apple browser. Uh, we're talk going to talk about using Safari uh, to collect RSS feeds. So in other words, even though Safari is primarily a web browser, it can also be used uh, in the same way that you use something like uh, Google uh, Reader, some of the other RSS readers. Now an RSS is a way to uh, subscribe to a feed, which is uh, new information to appear on a website. Most websites, or many websites, have RS RSS feeds. Just as an example, I've got a Safari open now to the I Love My HSL website, which is a uh, blog here at, at the Health Sciences Library. And you'll notice if you look up into the address bar, uh, right near where the URL, uh, to the right of the URL, there is a RSS icon. So I'm just going to click that Show I RSS icon and in this case there's two and I'm going to choose the f the feed, the main feed, there's also a comments feed on this uh, web page but anyway I'm going to choose the feed and that takes me to the RSS feed for this site so now that I've done that I can click this plus sign which is right on the other side of the URL and Essentially what we're doing is we are adding this feed to our bookmarks. So we've, we're basically using the Safari bookmarks as um, our feed reader. So I'll go to show all bookmarks and under UNC Actually, I had already put this feed, uh, I had already bookmarked this feed, but I just thought I would uh, uh, illustrate how to do it, so I bookmarked it again. And you'll see that under each of these categories, I've placed different uh, RSS feeds. So if I go to one of these feeds, like if I go to this instructional media feed, I can look at the most recent um, posts to this blog. Same thing with any of the other feeds. So I'll just go back here and if I look under video, um, uh, Rick, uh, Rich Harrington, if I double click on Rich Harrington, this shows his feed for his site. So if you are using uh, Apple's Safari as your web browser. You can also use it as a feed reader. Now if I want to add another category of feeds, I might just mention that. I can just press or click this plus button and um, add another category very easily. So I hope this has been useful and we will see you next time. Thank you for watching.